everybody, it's Christina from Christina's Crafts. Um, I have a craft tonight, it's gonna be a Halloween craft. And to tell you the truth, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing here. I just got kind of a little bit of an idea, so we're just gonna see what happens. Um, I got this from Dollar Tree, and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this stuff off of here. And see if I can get this off. Hopefully it just comes off real nice without wrecking too much. All right, and then we're just gonna save this because you never know when you might use that. Okay, so actually what I'm gonna do with this is I'm not gonna use this side, I'm gonna use this side. And what I plan on doing is basically making a swag. Um, I shouldn't say a swag, it's like a broom. It's gonna hang, but it's gonna be Halloween and not fall. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, and I should, what I should have done is I should have pre-planned, pre and I probably should have done spray paint, but since I did not do that, I am taking my Waverly chalk paint, and I am gonna not completely cover this. I mean, I'm not gonna get like all crazy about it, but I'm gonna get it um, as black as I can, basically, without spending a ton of time trying to make this black. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this painted. Okay, so I have the front of it painted. I didn't bother doing the back, because you're not gonna see the back anyways. So I'm gonna set that aside, and then I'm gonna take my Beware sign, which I'm planning on putting on there, and I am going to paint it with this elephant chalk paint. And what I am going to do is I'm just gonna take my little sponge dabber here and then just dab on the sign. I just want kind of like a, I don't want it to be so bright and shiny. I wanna dull it down a little bit. Okay, so I am at the part where I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna decorate this. So I have some of this creepy cloth that I got from Dollar Tree and I cut a little chunk off and I think what I'm going to do is I am going to wrap this around on here and then just kind of let it hang down. I know one side's thicker than the other side, but I think I just kind of want it like hanging down like this. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to take the spider that I also got from Dollar Tree and I also got this, um, these cobwebs. I got that from Dollar Tree and I cut a little, little section off and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda wrap this around my spider, or the bottom of the spider, I should say. I need a better scissors. I'm just gonna kinda cut out like, kind of like a little circle around my spider. And then just kind of put his little legs in there so it kind of sticks on there like that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I am going to attach my spider onto my broom here. So I am just, I'm hoping this is gonna work. This is my, my idea. And you know what, I think I'm just gonna put it right on here. And then I'm going to attach him right there. Okay, now that he's attached on there, I'm going to take my beware sign here. And this is going to go on the bottom of my broom. Oh, glue stick. So I'm just going to stick a little hot glue on here. And then that's going to get attached right down here. Okay, then I think what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna put a little more of this on top here, a little creepy cloth. Just gonna tie it on there. Okay, and then I think the last thing that I'm gonna do, this is a pretty quick craft. Um, yeah, we'll untangle that for one. <laughs> and I have these spiders, oh, this one got caught that came with <laughs> the spider webs. I'm just, just ripping it apart, don't mind me. 
I got stuff stuck all over. Let's just kind of rip that off of there. It's kind of a messy one. All right, and then I'm gonna take these spiders here and, well, they're actually on a ring already. Let's see if that works. That's not bad. Probably don't even have to cut them. And I was gonna put my spiders on my handle. I'll probably still stick a little bit of hot glue on there. So the spiders are kind of coming down the handle after mama. I think they got two more in here. Let's see if I can fit one more on there. Oh, that looks pretty good. I do have, you know what, I think this might need more creepy cloth on it. Looks a little, it's just not full enough, I guess. Let me see. Uh, I got a leaf caught in there. Let's see about taking everything. It's just getting caught on everything. Cut them a little bit more off. See if I can tie some more on here. Looks a little bare back here too. What if, I know, I got all these little strings caught in my web. This will all have to be cleaned up after I get this settled, I think. I think I'm just gonna take some of this. What if I just kinda, yeah, that doesn't look horrible. Let's just take some and glue it to the back of it. I'm probably getting, whoop, <laughs> that stuck to my finger. Probably getting a little bit crazy here. Probably don't need all this on here. All right, now I gotta try to clean this up. Maybe I need to take some of the spider web off. Maybe it's just a little too much. You know, just so you know, not every craft turns out perfect. Sometimes you have a really great idea and it just doesn't turn out right. I mean, I'm not saying this is bad. It's just not, I guess, as cool as I thought it was going to look. And I think that's probably going to be about it. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to this. Maybe I'll just get a little crazy here and put a little more my creepy cloth on there. On the back. I think it just looks better a little fuller on the back. All right, and then, you know what? I'm almost thinking I should stick some hot glue on here. Keep it in check. I'm just kind of going on the metal sign here behind the metal sign and hot gluing it on there. Which I probably should have done in the first place. one more spider in here and I think I'm gonna stick him on there too but I think I'm gonna cut his little his little rings off thinking no, I don't really want it on the wear sign maybe at the bottom here or up here yeah 
All right, I think that is all I'm gonna do to this one. I think it's gonna look a lot better when it's actually hanging up. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to put a little hanger thing on here too. And then I think I'm just gonna make a little loop. And then it's just gonna hang from here. It's gonna hang up just like that. I cut that off. Maybe it's good. I don't know, you'll have to let me know what you think. All right, I just wanna say thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I would love it if you subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified when I upload, and I hope you have a great night, and take care. Thanks for watching. Bye!